Let's hear a story, a story, a story. Let's hear a story about a fish in the sea. Keep your friends and your gills to yourself as you exit the stingray. Whoa, oh, yeah, Mr. I Ray. love stories. No, Harley, dude, let's hear a cool story. <laughs> oh, yay, I <laughs> love stories. Don't make me Wait, eat. Who's gonna tell it? <laughs> Sir Ray's oh, stories are my favorite. Another story. Yay, story time. Gnarly, dude. Hey, Mr. Ray, what story are you gonna tell us today? Story time, story time. Oh, I just love stories so much. Stories are just the best. I love scary stories and I love funny stories and I just, oh, any story is a really great story. Hey, what are y'all doing here? Oh, come on, Blue. It's story time, Mr. Ray. Just sit down and listen. Oh, I just love stories so much. I just love stories. All right, Dory, come on. Story time. Shh. Okay. Shh. Okay, everybody. This story is called The Little Blue Swimming Fish. Oh, oh, is this like the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Wait, how do I know that? Um, no, Dory. No, Dory, it's not like that at all. Oh, okay. And as I was saying, it's about a little blue swimming fish who's on her way to Grandma's house. Ooh, yay, good story. There once was a blue fish with a yellow fin. Let's call her Little Blue. Huh, that sounds like someone I know. I don't know who. That sounds like someone. Dory, shh. We're listening to a story. Shh. Oh, anywho, so Little Blue was on her way to Grandma's house to deliver some kelp cookies. Oh, I'm so excited to go to Grandma's house. Her place is so cool. Like there's a slide and this castle looking thing. It's just the best place to go to. I just love Grandma's house. But before she left, her mother said, Now Dory, be very careful and follow the shells and the rocks. Okay, Mom, you can trust me. I won't stray. Now Little Blue is off on her adventure. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim, swim. Just keep And swimming, Little Blue stayed on the path swimming, until she heard a sound. Um, excuse me, where are you going? Why do you have that helmet on? Oh, come on. Don't be so crabby. Um, excuse me, I asked you, why do you have that helmet on? Hey, 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 back up. Mind your own business. Oh, crabs these days. And in that moment, Little Blue realized that there were no more stones in front of her. She had gotten off the path. Little did she realize trouble was lurking nearby. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I did it again. I didn't listen. Oh no, hello, hello, can anyone help me? Oh, oh crab cakes. Oh, hello there. Couldn't help it over here, you're in a little bit of trouble. But little did little blue know that the octopus was the real trouble. Octopus? Now did it have eight tentacles or seven? Because if it was seven tentacles, it definitely was a septopus. I met a septopus once and it was, Dory, you know what Mr. Ray said? Listening ears on, mouth off. Right, you're right, my bad. Continue, Mr. Ray. As I was saying, it was the octopus who was the real trouble. So, uh, what seems to be the trouble, little blue fish? Oh, how'd you know my name? A lot of people call me Little Blue. Uh, good guess, I guess. Anyways, what seems to be the trouble? Oh, well, I was supposed to follow the rocks to my grandma's house, but I got off the path and I don't know what to do. Oh, seems pretty tricky. <laughs> Are those uh, kelp cookies I smell? Yeah, they're kelp cookies. My grandma loves her kelp cookies. Can't get enough of them, actually. Oh, right. Can you help me? Listen, I was on the way to grandma's house and then I got off the, I got off the path with the stones and I don't know where I'm... Hey, little blue, you've told me this already. Oh, have I? I'm sorry. I have short-term memory loss. Can you help me? Uh, I think I can. If you just go back under that green arch right there, you'll find the stone path and make it back to Grandma's house. 
Wow, you are such a nice octopus. Thanks so much. Bye. Boy. Wait, whoops. Almost forgot my kelp cookies. Man, that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? <laughs> I may have sent her on her way back to the rock path, but I happen to know a shortcut to Grandma's house. I'm gonna get me those kelp cookies. It'll be like taking candy from a clownfish. Hey, clownfish are actually really smart. We may not be that funny, but we're really smart. Luckily for Little Blue, the octopus had shown her the way to Grandma's house. Unfortunately, she wasn't the only one visiting Grandma that day. Grandma! Grandma! I brought your kelp cookies. I know how much you love them. At least, I think you do. I love them, so I think you love them. Oh yeah, I think you love them. Grandma! Grandma! Where are you? Alright, now's my chance. Now or never. Oh, Dory! Oh, hi, Grandma! I brought you your cup cookies just for you. Oh, good! You know how much I love your cup cookies. Oh, you're looking very blue today, Grandma. I don't remember you looking this way. Well, <laughs> that's normal. Don't you remember? I've always looked this way. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I have short-term memory loss. I know. Wow, Grandma. It also looks like you have some extra fins. I don't remember you having seven. Who else did I meet today that had seven? Oh, <laughs> these old things. No, I've just, uh, just been working out. That's all. Grandma, you also sound a little different. Oh, I give up. Whoa, Grandma. Do you have a cold? No, it's me. <gasps> <gasps> did you follow the stone path here too? Or did you blue? Is that you? Do I smell kelp? <gasps> Who's this? Oh, hey grandma. This is my friend. I'm not your friend. I'm trying to steal your cookies. <laughs> you don't just steal them. I just give you some. <laughs> You're silly. And it was in that moment when the octopus realized that he didn't have to be a sourpuss anymore. He was a smiling septopus, all thanks to Little Blue and her willingness to share. Wait, who are you? Oh, brother. The end. Alrighty, little explorers, how'd you like it? Oh, yeah, it was good, it was awesome. yeah! You totally crushed it, Mr. Ray. Oh, at least it wasn't a scary story. That would have made me ink. Um, Marlin, are you crying? <laughs> no, it's just, 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 just allergies. I really like that little blue character. She sounded really cool. I could really go for some kelp cookies right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie little floaties, all aboard explorers for another adventure. Oh, we have some fun, some fun, some fun. But Mr. Ray's story time is now all done. Wow, we had so much fun today listening to Mr. Ray and his really cool story. Hey, did that story remind you of another story you may know? Yeah, it made me think about Little Red Riding Hood. But I like this version better. Me too. I'm so glad that Dory, or <laughs> Little Blue as they said in the story, was able to find her way to her grandma's house and she was so nice to share her cookies. Who was your favorite character from the story? Was it Dory? Or maybe Hank the Septopus? Or maybe even the Helmet Crab? Let us know in the comments below! And if you like this video and want to see more videos with Dory and all of her Finding Dory friends, make sure to subscribe to the Engineering Family channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And give us a big thumbs up on this video. And our super cool underwater spelling word for today is going to be Ray. R-A-Y. Ray. Like Mr. Ray. And if you want to hear another one of Mr. Ray's stories, let us know in the comments below. Bye everyone! Thanks for watching! Hey there everyone! 
Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the engineering family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha? There are so many videos to watch. Bye!